Hey YouTube, I'm going to be doing a review on Captain Black Gold. The only reason I have Captain Black Gold is because I went to get um, Captain Black Royal, which has turned out to be maybe my favorite or second favorite. And when I went to the store, they didn't have any Royal left. They had uh, they had the white, the original. They also had gold. That's it. The royal was empty. So I said, "Heck, I'll try it." This is the last one I haven't tried out of the Captain Black line. Um, the the ones I did try. Uh, or Captain Black Dark and Dark was my favorite but I'm going to do a review on each uh, maybe it's Royal but I do a review on each one but I'm just starting with gold tonight because it's what I happen to have with me and it's what I decided uh, tonight's when I just decided I'll do some reviews on these so uh, this isn't my first smoke. I've got uh, you know, I've got a little left. So I've, I've probably smoked maybe a little over an ounce of this. Um, but I like it. I do like it. Now to me, and to most people, when they think of Captain Black, they tend to think of a really sweet, goopy aromatic. You know, where you don't get much tobacco taste. You know, you're just kind of hit in the face with the flavorings and toppings and stuff. And I think that bad reputation sort of comes from the original mixture, the white label. I do believe I like this better than the white label. Oh, by the way, this is a Dr. Graybo. I don't know if you can see the label, but as far as I can tell, the the names on these Dr. Graybos don't really mean much. But this is a Golden Duke Bulldog shape. But like, the reason the names don't mean much is because you could get this exact pipe that says something else so and it may just have a difference of a silver band right here but uh, this uh, this Captain Black Gold is to me the least aromatic of all Captain Black's besides brown taste I haven't had brown taste and I can't find it anywhere I'm not really interested this tastes the most like a normal uh, you know drugstore tobacco sort of along the same lines as uh, Prince Albert or Carter Hall something like that you know it's not really an aromatic but sort of halfway there at least for Carter Hall So, this one's good. Like I said, it's the most natural tobacco tasting. And it kind of reminds you of Captain Black Royal. But just maybe less strong as far as uh, the taste. The nicotine, I, I think the nicotine content in the Captain Black Gold is actually... 
probably higher than uh, the Royal or the Dark. And that would be because it's made from Virginia. Uh, this is Golden Cavendish, which is made from Virginia. But I don't know if you can see because it's dark. But this stuff is pretty light. Um, it's not too complex. It's pretty... It's pretty one notes, I would say. It um, There's a slight sweetness, maybe a slight honey note in the background. Uh, maybe a tad teensy bit of caramel, but... You know, overall, it, it is pretty, uh, you know, pretty lightly aromatic. It's not, uh, it's not sort of between an aromatic and a, you know, what some people call an American blend. Like Prince Albert. But I like it. It burns cool. I didn't get any tongue bite from smoking this one, and I tend to be pretty fast. Uh, but it's overall, it's good. I would say in the flavor, it's probably something like maybe a 3 out of 10 as far as the strength goes but there's a good flavor to it this is something that it's not one of those tobaccos that you'd smoke for the flavor it's more of just something you'd, it's an all day smoke type of blend and uh, the nicotine content is probably a mild or a medium you know mild medium and there's not too much there but there's more in it than a lot of the other Captain Black blends. More than Royal has and more than uh, Dark, for sure. Uh, I'm not too sure on it how it would compare to Original, but this is good. Would I buy it again? I'm not too sure if I would. I like it. But at the same time, there's other Captain Blacks uh, that I like more. So I wouldn't intentionally buy this one again. It's, you know, I might buy it again because I might be somewhere and want something. And this might be there and I might buy it. But there's, if they had the Dark or they had the Royal, or several other things, I'd buy that instead. You know, I used to smoke Prince Albert years ago, and I think that um, if I ever got in the mood for, like in that kind of mood where I would want to get Prince Albert, this would be better. <laughs> no tongue bite. And it burns quick. Uh, it's a pretty decent sized pipe. You could probably get, you know, 45 minutes out of something like this. With like Captain Black Dark or BCA or something. But with this one, maybe 20 minutes. It burns pretty quick. It's pretty dry. But it burns cool and there's nothing wrong with it. I just, to me, it's like an average, you know, as far as Captain Black line goes, I'd say it's, it's okay, you know. Some people are looking for something that doesn't have a lot of flavor that's just an all day smoke that you don't have to really worry about. You would never get sick of it, smoking it all day. And this would be good for that. But yeah, there's not much uh, 
not much complexity to this one. You look on tobaccoreviews.com for what flavor this is. It's real informative <laughs> because it says other slash miscellaneous. But like I said, I taste a little bit of honey. Maybe.